Hey guys, take a look at this. I have here my MacBook Pro M2 working with three monitors and works pretty fine. I'm using here this docking station. This is from Tobin One and I have the HDMI and display ports connected here. And then it works pretty good. Okay, let me just show here the features that I have. So basically here I can move a window from here to here, to the left side, back to the center. I here have a different resolution for this monitor. And then I can come to the right side, back to the center and go down. So it works pretty good. If I come here to the system settings, you can see my displays. So basically here, when I come to displays, you see that I have different ones here, okay? And I have one here on the left, then the built-in display, which is the, which is the Mac computer, and even an HDMI splitter. I'm testing a splitter here to see if it works, and it works, works pretty fine. So when I come here to arrange, I see here the monitor on the left side, and I click here, you see it there, that's working. And here in the center, the splitter, just click here, so you see this working. And here, the right side, and finally here, the built-in display, okay? So it works pretty good. I click here, and let me just show as well that I have this software here that manages everything, right? This is the Display Link Manager. So you just need to download this from this, uh, the website. It's free to download, and usually, what you have to do is just install the software and it pops up a message and it just click here, allow to connect and you're good to go. And you're gonna see your monitors here and also click here, launch automa automatically after logging. Then I just need to turn everything on and it starts working. Uh, one more important thing that I have to do here, the instructions comes in the user menu, of course, but you need to come here to the system settings and here on the security center and privacy security, okay, you just come here to locate this screen and system audio recording. And here you enable for the display link manager, okay? As long as you do this, it's going to work. Then you're gonna have your software here that can see your external monitors and you're good to go, right? So let me talk more about the device here. On the back, you see my connections. There we go, I have a display port and HDMI port. You can use either HDMI or display port. I have an HDMI here, a display port here, and another HDMI here. So three monitors at the same time. For Windows, a little, uh, it's a little bit different. And also here you have a 3.2 USB connection and here a DC port connection for your power supply. LAN port so I can connect to your router and here a USB-C port that connects to my computer back there. So basically here on the left side, I have the connection for the USB port. That's the only cable that connects to the device and then everything works here connected to the monitors, okay? So it's a pretty good setup. And it powers my device, it charges my, my PC here, my MacBook Pro. So I don't need to use this anymore, okay? This power supply, I don't need to connect there because I've just connected here to the docking station and I'm good to go. Here in the front, you see that you have a USB-C 3.0 input in here as well, USB 3.2, regular USB, USB-A, which is pretty fast. In here, SD card slot and micro SD card slot as well. Here, the LED and the power button, okay? So pretty nice design. And if you have a card, let's say, for example, you have a card like this, you can just connect here to the device. Or if you have a micro SD card, like I have one here, you can also connect to this device. Here, for example, I don't have a slot for micro SD card, I have just four SD cards. So usually I was like using this one, this adapter, put it here on my computer. So I don't need this anymore because now I can just use my SD card and connect directly here to the docking station, which I prefer because it's pretty fast, works pretty well. And you can also use USB pen drives. For example, I have this one, which is pretty fast. And I have here an option to connect via USB or USB-C, right? So I can just connect to here and have it working there, all right? 
So here, if I close the lead, for example, works pretty fine as well. Let's say I want to close it here and it rearranges and works back there. Let's say, for example, if I want to work here with the finder and then you see that I don't have anything here, I would just connect this card, right? So here I have the SD card. I just put it here that way. There we go. And it's going to pop up there, okay? Pretty fast, so I click here and I have my card working here with my files. It's the same here for this other device here, the pen drive. If I just connect here to the port, which is pretty fast, it just pops up there as well. Just wait a second and pops up here and I have my file, all right? So it's pretty easy to use and also pretty fast. And you have more information here as well in the user menu. As you can see here, that's the setup that I have here with three monitors, 4K, 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 60 hertz, right? And it's working here with my M2. And I also have here the, dis the display port 1.4. Okay, this works pretty fine, okay? And here I have more information about, there we go, a chart about the connections. So basically you have HDMI 1, display port 1, 2, and 3 and works here with 60 hertz in 4K. Okay, single video output, for example, here video output for Windows, you can even use 8K 30 hertz for Windows. Okay, with this chart here, you have all the information if you want to pause the video and take a look here, but works pretty fine for different devices, different situations, and it's pretty good, okay? So guys, I've been using this for a while in testing. I have other, another one here from Tobin One as well, a previous version here. As you can see, it's a similar one. Here you have HDMI input and display port in here, and the new one has HDMI display port here as well, and USB 3.2 here. That's the difference uh, for the new one, right? And here in the front, you see as well, that I have a difference here. I'll just show both of them. I have here the difference that here now, instead of 2.0, here I have 3.2, okay? So it works pretty fine. As you can see here, I have more than one. I trust this brand. It's a good one. I like it and I recommend it.